Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to our deciding game number three. It is going to be Sing Sing versus Funic 1v1 Shadow Fiend Mid. This match was played before the new patch. I'm not going to bother with the previous games. If you want to check out uh, the matches we gave the players, how we got to this game three, you can check any of the previous VODs here on Beyond the Summit on our Twitch TV channel or on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. As you can see, it is going to be Funic on the Radiant, Sing Sing on the dire side. 1v1 Shadow Fiend mid, are we going to see anything unusual when it comes to item builds, when it comes to skill selection? I don't think so, but you just never know. Anything could happen. Here we go. The creeps haven't spawned yet. Remember, this is kind of a... It's kind of a funky matchup in some ways. Uh, because you can't use... The, you can't have items, you don't get to use runes. So, if you ever start to fall behind, sure, you could go back to base and heal. You are allowed to return to the fountain. But the problem is, you're going to fall so far behind when it comes to levels, when it comes to farms. So even though you can do that, Gods. Gods is really bored, apparently. Yes, Gods is your cameraman for today. I'm your commentator. And Gods is apparently drunk. Go home, Gods. 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 Gods! Okay, I don't think he can hear me, guys. <laughs> Funny on the Shadow Fiend. He's mid. Sing Sing on the Shadow Feed. He's mid. And he's dire. Here we go. Down the middle lane they march. He's gonna get that better creep lock. That really can make the difference. And it is gonna be a slight advantage, it looks like, for Sing Sing. He'll start off on the high ground here. Funic could have a slightly harder time uh, dealing with this particular matchup. Early on, the last hitting. First deny actually goes to Funic. First blood. And then the counter, the counter creep. Now remember, le something worth noting is because you can't use items, uh, or you can't spend your gold. The reason being that the, the hero created via cheats can't use gold, so it wouldn't be fair if one player could have one coded. But because you can't use your gold in this matchup, it doesn't matter really if you get last hits or denies, except from a perspective of controlling the lane, you know, either pushing it or trying to draw back. So it matters for creep equilibrium, but it doesn't matter when it comes to the gold aspect. So denies are equally valuable to last hits in 1v1 Shadow Fiend mid. Uh, at least until your souls are maxed, or until you've hit the cap for your skill level. And the reason for that is, of course, that you got a soul for them either way. Okay, it seems everything should be good. I'll stop. I should be able to just stay inside the the VOD now. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, mid, uh, very slow start. Pretty even when it comes to last hitting. Uh, let's see, three and two, three and two. We'll see maybe one extra soul. Nope. Doesn't get that last hit. So dead even, now the lane pushing the other way. Much more defensive play from both of these players. When we've seen this matchup the two times in the past, it was very aggressive, going for a lot of early raises, uh, basically trying to trade blows early. If you go down that road, the game will end soon. So either you just want to end it quickly because you're impatient, or you have to be confident. You already see, having that slight high ground advantage, double raises flying out. Oh, Sing Sing's going to have to go back to base off of that, I think. He's going to try and stay around. He'll probably use at least one more raise. Uh, that long range raise, if you, if you, that's the one that's pretty easy to hit. It's the others that are hard. Oh, Funic winds up there, lets it fly with the C raise, the long range one. Does miss, though. And the thing is, if he doesn't go back to base now, when Sing comes back, there's all sorts of interesting dynamics with, like, when you time your fountain trips. Because if Funic doesn't go back now, and then he's forced to go back when Sing has full mana, he'll, he'll pretty much be at a net even position. If he went back now and came back to the lane, he could be maybe slightly ahead. We'll see when he goes. He's going to have to make a fountain trip soon. Remember, you can't spend anything. Well, you can spend your gold. You just can't actually use those items. And he's dropping them on the floor. Gods. Gods. Gods, please. Please click on... <laughs> gods is trolling me so hard. Damn you, Gods. I think he's sleeping now, too. Uh, just to make it even worse. He's laughing in his sleep, maniacally, of course. Not actually full HP, I gotta say. If you're gonna walk all the way back to Fountain, you normally wanna... And it looks like Funic... Uh, why are we seeing XP per minute? <laughs> Scott's never observed a game before in his life. Holy shit. Last hits, please. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. Gods is a clown. Please fire him. Uh, but yeah, it looks like back at base, healing up is Funic. So Sing gonna have some free time in the lane. Jesus. <laughs> Was he actually drunk when he filmed this? <laughs> oh, man. Remember, the gold doesn't matter, guys. It's all about last hits and souls and just lane positioning. And also, not dying. The first death wins this game. The first tower wins this game. 
even if this goes for a while, I really don't think we're going to see a tower. Because a Shadow Fiend without items doesn't actually push that hard. You can't spam your raises as much. You're still very squishy. And if you're in range to be pushing that tower, you're in range to get double even triple raised very quickly. And Shadow Fiend is probably the single best here in the game at just mowing down creep waves very cheaply and cost effectively. I mean, I'd say even better than a hero like Lashrak, who we saw is quite good at it. Just because the raises are so damn cheap. 75 mana per raise. And also the cooldowns are quite low in all of them. And you have three. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the best of mowing down creeps, which means it's really going to be hard to push. So it really does come down to just that kill. And who's it going to be? I mean, it's still quite even. 10 to 6, 9 to 6. Or 10 and 6, 9 and 6 when it comes to CS. A 1 CS lead for Funic, but that doesn't really mean too much. When we look at levels, it looks like Sing is level f just hit level 5, and I think Funic might be one creep away from it. Yeah, I think he just got it as well. Just So he's one... that Those two denies, it means he's a tiny bit behind, but if it's only one, like, one or two creeps, it doesn't make a big difference. It's when you fall, like, a full wave, two waves and levels behind, because there's a lot of denies. Then you're in trouble, because then your opponent will have the level three raise, the level four raise before you, and then you can't even stay in the lane, because if you trade blows, you're just going to flat out lose that battle. That's just the math of the matchup. Double raises flying forth, but Funic mostly hitting the creeps. When you blow those raises on creeps, the problem is you don't have any burst to kill the enemy hero. So Sing's low, but Sing's actually the scarier one right now, I would say. Or at least he's as scary, even though Funic is full HP. Funic, gonna have to make another trip back to Fountain, potentially. Nope, just gonna body block the creeps. Still sitting on 35 mana, not opting to go back to the Fountain at all. Where Sing, even when he's a little bit low, is doing it. Remember, you can't spend or use gold, so you can't use TP scrolls. You gotta hoof it back to base, hoof it back to lane. And hey, Funic is gonna get the advantage when it comes to souls off of this. It seems like both players are just gonna be maxed very quickly at pretty much every level. He's only got that level 2 Necromaster right now, and even with the changes to Necromaster, if you're getting this much time alone to your base, he keeps on spending, he really wants to use that gold. Uh, Sing Sing. You cheeky bugger. Let me use my items. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And 29, 30 last hits. Funic is really taking advantage of the fact that he didn't go back to base. He only has mana for one raise. So he's not going to have the best kill potential. But if your auto attacks are double theirs, uh, it can be very devastating. The thing is, though, he's a lot of these last hits came when he already had his Necromastery capped out. So... You can see he's only up to 24. I believe it's 28 souls is the max you can have with that level 3 Necromastery, and then it's 36 when it's actually max. Something like that. Uh, so he's not even hitting the cap yet. You can see it's still ticking upwards. Even though he has much more than 26 last hits, he actually has 34 total. So saying driven back to base, but still finding the raises, is abusing the fact that he's a little bit more mana now. Going to work on Funic. But I gotta say, Funic, quite far ahead. I'm actually not sure who comes out on top. I feel like... I feel like not having mana is a big liability, though. I'll, we'll, I'll be interested to see when Funnick goes back to base. I imagine by the time he hits level 7, he'll use all his mana and he'll go back. Because if you don't go back then, I mean, you're still in danger of just dying if that triple raise hits you. When it comes to Soul, Sing's still sitting at 20. He's actually quite far behind in levels. Or... Oh, no. Okay, no, he's actually a little bit closer than I thought. I thought Gods was clicking on something else. Um, but yeah, he's gone for a point in Presence of the Dark Lord. This is something Korok talked about. He feels like that minus three armor is just worth it a lot more than some additional plus damage. And I mean, Shadow Fiend already hits quite hard. So I can kind of see it. This could be the end. It is. All of a sudden, the game is just over. Sing Sing does it. Yeah, buddy, he says. He's going to be moving on. He will be facing S4. Props to Sing Sing. He played this one extremely well. Uh, it is a very volatile matchup. Sing Sing does win. And this best out of three. It goes the distance. S4's match went the distance as well. He moves on. So it will be Sing Sing versus S4. That'll be our second to last loser's bracket match. The winner of that moves on to play Cinder in a best out of three. The winner of that moves on to play Old Man Fear in the grand finals. That will be a best out of five. We don't have the next matches scheduled yet, guys. We are going to look to try and play them live and to try and play them all using the new only mid mode that Valve has added. We're not sure exactly when that will be, but if you're not already doing so, you should follow myself, Facebook, Twitter.com slash LDDota, or Gods, Facebook, Twitter.com slash GDNetGods, and we will keep you guys updated on the schedule for the rest of the tournament. When it is announced, it'll be on our Facebook, it'll be on our Twitter, it'll go up 
um, on Gosu Gamers, Gosu Bets as well. So stay tuned, guys, for more action. But for today, that will wrap it up. We'll do a rebroadcast for those who missed to these games, but that does wrap it up. Sing Sing moves on. He does it. And S4 is waiting for him. Sing Sing versus S4 will be the next match. We'll see you guys later for that. For now, it's LD and the rest will be on the summit. And Drunk Gods signing off.